Hey, hi. My name is Neil and I'm going to be your instructor for this induction course on FMEA as per AIAG VDA 2019 format. You must be aware if you're from the automotive sector that AIAG and VDA have joined hands together, both of them being industry bodies for automotive sector. VDA from the German side and AIAG moreover covering the rest of the world. They have worked together for the last three years to release a new version. Till recently, we were following AIAG fourth version of FMEA. From now on, we will be following the AIAG PDA version one. So this is an induction course, which is going to talk about what changes that this new edition is bringing about. As a matter of fact, this edition has a lot of major and a couple of minor changes to the FMEA format. And that is why I have put together this course, which will help design engineers, process engineers, design and process manufacturing managers to understand how they can adopt the new methodology and the new approach as suggested in this new edition. So this course is not a starter course. At the same time, I would say this is not an advanced course. It's in fact a specialization. So people from the automotive sector would be more interested in this course. But I would say that if you're from manufacturing, we all know that automotive sector leads in many of the management practices. For example, the FMEA format, which has been adapted by the automotive sector earlier has now become an industry standard for almost all other sectors where manufacturing is happening. So if you're from manufacturing, I would feel that this course would surely help you to get on board on the changes that AIAG VDA new edition is bringing about. So what is it that we're going to talk about in this course? You're going to talk about the changes with examples for DFMEA, PFMEA, and what we call as FMEA MSR. So this is a new FMEA template that the edition has introduced. So uh, if you're not familiar with what FMEA is, then I would suggest that having a foundation course like the risk management using FMEA, a course like that would certainly be helpful. In this course, you would understand with examples how you can use DFMEA, how you can integrate DFMEA with PFMEA, and how you can cascade DFMEA across various levels. We will also talk about the integration of DFMEA with FMEA MSR. So I hope if you're from the automotive sector, you would love this course because you may not want to get left behind in a change which is as major as this. So I wish you all the best and looking forward to having you in this course. Thank you.